What's up everyone, it's Roger here from ThisKingdom.com and this is a quick gameplay video here featuring Judy Hot from Zootopia aka Zootropolis here in Europe. So let's have a look here, as you can see here, I am bouncing around, I've already got her leveled up to level 19 so we can see what she can do. So let's have a look, so you can see I've also put down the Zootopia sky and dome and terrain so we can kind of see how it looks. The movie's not out just yet when I'm making this so I'm still not entirely too sure how this character is going to look but I'm sure once that movie comes out it is going to be looking pretty fine so let's take a look as you can see I have got a super jump ability so I'm going to jump first off into her skill tree and just show off what she's got here so here we go so we're going to kick off with some health boost and we've got some helping hand options here and some more health boosts you can see all these here and we have mid-air recovery and we have three levels of the rabbit hop so basically increases the amount of super jump she can do, which makes sense. She's a wabbit. And then we have um, our special ability, which includes firing a dart from a tranquilizer gun that um, monetarily puts opponents to sleep. Press R1, tap for additional darts. So you can boost up how many times you can do it and how quickly as well it um, recharges. And you can also charge up how long the actual... Um, damage is causing how long they remain asleep. Her melee skills include um, includes a combo attack, a line of defense which repels anything, some more damage, and she also has um, super sensitive hearing which is basically spider sense. And finally in her range attacks she has the ability to dash forwards towards an opponent, knock it back with a powerful kick, press R2 then tap, and then we can see here you can basically increase to how far she can do this kick. And finally, that shows that she has a super jump ability and spider sense. Okay, so there is the super jump. So you can see here, you can jump that. She can jump pretty high. Let's put down some enemies so we can see her in action. So I'm going to put down a whole host of droids. There we go, Let's so we can see her in properly in action. Okay, so first off, she has a ground pound, like all the characters. And she has a close attack, which basically sees her using her feet, so she's bouncing off of them. So she's pretty, pretty powerful with those feet, so that's a good thing. And she's taking these guys out pretty well. Okay, now let's just show off her special moves, so you can see there that she darted him. So I'm just going to kick him up. Right, range attacks. So this is where she will jump forward, and she can bounce off him. If you do it and tap down, um triangle on the PlayStation she does uh, basically kick them while they're in the air now okay so there we go so that is so she's taking them out so you can use up all your things here and you can dash them and take them out now I'm gonna be honest I'm not particularly blown away with her skill set here um, Feels very limited. Almost feels a little bit like a 1.0 character, um, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's a bit strange. I think I was expecting a little bit more to, you know, the jump looks good, and I mean she took care of those enemies okay, but there wasn't anything what I would call. Um, I liked, you know, when you have a ranged attack, you know, I thought she might have been able to use a gun or something like that, rather than just doing like a dash. He doesn't seem to have a lot of special abilities. She's, she's a very basic character. Um, maybe that might make a bit more sense for the movie. But, I mean, she's taking care of these guys okay. But I do wonder how, you know, in in some serious battles with something a bit bigger, may not be quite as easy. So let's put down something a little bit harder to take care of. Right, let's go put down something a bit bigger here. So let's see how she does against him. You can see there she's, you know, she can, she can bounce off, but she's, he's not bouncing anywhere. Right, whoop. So you can see here you're going to do a range attack. Now, suddenly when she's up against um, a bigger opponent, I mean, she's still doing a, his bar's coming down quite nicely. Ooh, there we go, some nice attacks. But you can't, you have to get up and close and personal, and you cannot... You can't attack really too far from the back. Right, let's just back off here. And I'm going to use... There we go. 
And I think we just bounced straight off of it. Now I'm coming close to low health. Okay, yes, there we go. So it, I did it. But I mean, that character took quite a bit of a beating before we could do anything with it. So, yeah, it's kind of, you know, she's pretty cool. But not usually the type of character that I would generally play with. I don't think too much. Um, not my style of character. I prefer a much more better range with having a gun. Now, obviously, you could, I could load it up and put in, you know, like a, a weapon like this. And so that suddenly makes her a lot more useful. But, like you say, that's not exactly what you should, you shouldn't really have to be using a character like that. But anyway, guys, just a quick note as well. Um, when you do get her, you do unlock her um, townsperson and portrait as well that you can use the portrait in the interior. And you can also use a townsperson in a number of different games and stuff. But there we go. That is Judy Hops. I'm doing plenty of jumping around. There we go. Judy Hops for Disney Infinity 3.0. Remember, you can always um, comment below with your thoughts. Let me know in the um what you guys think of her. Am I completely right or am I wrong? Anyway guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you guys in a later video. Laters.